This is Eric Mwad with Mwadha.com and what we are looking at here is a NASDAQ 6 months daily chart. So 6 months. And I want to take a look at the relationship between the RSI and the 50 day moving average. So 6 months daily. Alright. So I want to discuss why sometimes the RSI is more reliable than purely studying price especially when looking at price from a moving average perspective so we can say RSI versus moving average all right take a look at the following so we're gonna use the 50-day moving average which is the blue line this line here And I'm just going to draw through some of the main areas we're going to be taking a look at here like that and what I want to discuss is why sometimes I believe the RSI is more of a reliable tool for example take a look at this breakpoint which corresponds with this movement below the 50 day moving average so here the RSI and the moving average have the same look we have a break of both of the tr trends here moving below the 50 day moving average moving below this trend line on the daily for the RSI what I'm gonna do is draw a uniformity line should be something like that now on this line notice we have we come here and we touch the 50 day moving average and we are rejected this corresponds nicely with the RSI here so that's good again notice how we come here we move above the red line which is this period which also corresponds with the RSI excuse me with the moving average moving above a range so movement above the red line prices move above the 50 day moving average so both of those points are consistent we come back and test the 50-day moving average successfully we come back and bounce on the red line which is consistent now here's why I think the RSI is more reliable here the RSI gives us a reversal point so the RSI here shows rejection and a pullback right here but notice that we never get back to the 50-day moving average so if you are waiting for the 50-day moving average to be touched it never happens yet the RSI was confirming resistance that's one example where we can see the RSI was more reliable and again we can see here the RSI bounces on the red line and prices move higher but notice prices never come back to the 50-day moving average yes I know this is a quick example but it does illustrate my point that I personally tend to find that the RSI tends to be more reliable than only looking at moving averages so in my opinion RSI is a better tool Eric Mwadith, Mother .com. as always good luck peace and blessings E -S -S.